for daily ask reddit serious drug dealers of reddit have you ever called cps on a client if so what's the story serious replies only this was a long time ago and i've since gotten clean and started my own family but there was a girl i knew who was homeless with her newborn son on easter weekend i was walking on this trail to go meet with some people to sell them a sack it started raining and that of course made me mad there's these bridges that cross over the top of the trail and lots of kids gather and smoke or get spun under the bridges and that's where i found her she was passed out drunk with some random guy under the bridge while her newborn baby sat strapped in his car seat in the rain he wasn't under the bridge he was crying and he looked dirty i didn't have any children at this point but i panicked seeing the little guy i grabbed him dropped all i was supposed to be selling and walked off the trail and up the couple blocks to the police station i told them what happened and where i'd found him cps took him and he ended up getting adopted when i was selling to her a lady shook her crying baby in front of me I wigged out, took the baby, dumped 500 worth of cocaine and heroin, and called 911 from my car. She didn't put up a fight until the cops came to arrest her. She tried to sue me for kidnapping. Definitely not the best strategy for me. I was 18 and addicted pretty bad. But when the baby saw a doctor under state care he was covered in bruises, a couple of burns, and had two broken ribs already. I'm convinced she would have killed him. He's 10 now and happy and thriving. The whole experience and legal battle when she tried to have me charged with kidnapping is how I got sober. I used to deal way back when I was a hot mess in an extremely abusive relationship. I called CPS on not only one person but six. The one that sticks with me most though, not only because of the severity, but because I called twice, was this couple who used to pick up from me at a laundromat and we ended up seeing each other often enough I felt okay to go to their place. I was so floored when I stepped through that door. I kid you not, they had taken up all the carpeting in the house and had torn down the walls to get at the copper wiring and pipes. They had no electricity or running water. There was nothing in that house except for some sleeping bags in what used to be the living room. And then I noticed a nest of blankets with bright blue eyes peering at me over the pile and realized that there was a toddler and a small child no more than five. Until this point, I had never seen nor heard them talk about having kids. The poor kids were filthy and obviously malnourished. The house stunk of meth so badly I gagged. I couldn't believe it. I guess the look of shock was super apparent on my face because the dad said they were squatting and introduced me to their kids. I made some small talk and then left. The phone was ringing for CPS before I closed my car door. I gave them the address and let them know the conditions of the home and they were squatting with two small children. Gave the names of the parents as I knew them and the names of the kids. They ended up going to jail for the squatting and the kids went to live with a relative. They ended up contacting me back to sell to them after they were bailed out of jail and I never responded. However, the guy I was with at the time ended up selling to them and they were living in a field in a tent with the kids. I got into a huge fight with my boyfriend over it and was so disgusted he still sold to them. I ended up calling CPS on them again. From what I heard from other people that knew them, the kids were taken permanently after that, and about a year later the mom ended up going to prison for attempted murder and the dad went to prison for check fraud some weeks after that. Edit, I should have mentioned that I sold weed, shrooms, X, and acid. Ah uh, yes back when I was younger, maybe 17 I got my first job at Domino's Pizza. One of my managers was a really scummy 24 year old guy that looked like a troll, had astoundingly bad hygiene, and also a shitty attitude, but sold good weed and bought me cigarettes. This was my first experience having older friends able to get me good stuff on demand like that. One day he hooked me up with a friend of his that was selling mushrooms, so I met with that guy and bought an ounce, and then walked to my manager's house to sell him some, and also get some weed. So turns out him and his similarly aged sister, who has a one year old baby, both live in makeshift bedsheet bedrooms in the basement of the tiny house. They smoked inside, windows closed, cats everywhere, bugs everywhere, weird gross sour smells coming from all areas. Everything gross. 
their mom was home, but she was senile and addicted to painkillers, as well as the sister. So we did the trade downstairs, and when I go back upstairs I go to the kitchen to throw some stuff away, and I see the baby in a high chair, eating a pack of cigarettes. He's just sitting there tearing them open, and putting in his mouth, and spitting it out. I ran downstairs, and told the sister and she just started yelling mom. Mom get the baby, a couple times lazily, then gives up, and goes back to just sitting there. It was surreal. I hadn't ever experienced such neglect and disgust from people. I left and waited two days to call CPS, because I didn't want my manager to know it was me who called. I know the kids got taken away, and she went to live with a different family member, or at least that's what I was told. Twice. Left anonymous tips, which I know, are hard to follow up for such a strange child protection agency, but as a pot dealer it was all I felt I could do. I found out later one of the kids was put into foster care, adopted by the foster parents, and recently graduated a trade school. I have no idea about the other kids, siblings. But I hope they made it too. Kids should be protected. Humans only get one childhood. Let's let kids enjoy it and grow to happy adults. Don't hurt them intentionally or by your own stupidity asterisk asterisk. Asterisk asterisk that also means washing your hands people. Edit 1. Thanks for all the kind words guys. A guy in the comments pointed out something that everyone should know. When slash if you need to report to CPS you flood them with details. Lots of details. It's the only way they can act. A one sentence tip won't cut it. Real short and simple, yes. A friend of my girlfriend introduced us to her neighbors who were like 50 to 60 year old hippies that looked like a bad acid trip but bought weed regularly for full price. Couple months down the road they start being more friendly with my girlfriend and I and start talking more when we'd go drop off the shit. The topic began with her telling us how she has custody of her daughter's oldest born because her daughter was sitting time at a women's prison. Backstory on the kid, looks 15 but clearly has the mind capacity of a 6 or 7 year old, not sure what was wrong with her specifically, but you could tell there were issues. Near the end of the conversation about her daughter she brought up the fact that her granddaughter was prescribed Adderall 30XR, and whenever they got her prescription they'd dump all the little beads into a bowl to use, whenever they couldn't find meth, or whatever they needed, and instead fill the Adderall with Benadryl to make the kid sleep. Till this day I'll never forget the emotions I felt after getting out of there and sitting in my car. My hands were shaking so bad it was hard to google information about CPS, much less type information in. I felt goosebumps in every pore of my scalp. As a father of two I never knew such evil existed. Obviously in movies and shit, but never experienced something first hand like that. Back in college I went over to a single mother's house to drop off some bud. The kid was 3 years old. I walk in and notice it is extremely smoky and I immediately have a hard time breathing. It smelled like rotten shit, trash, and cigarettes. I was there for about 3 minutes and went to use the bathroom where I noticed fresh and dried blood on the toilet doors and up the walls, old and hardened, and dead bugs were in the corners of the bathroom and piled on top of the fesses. But that isn't the only icing on the cake. Once I left the bathroom, I went back out to the living room area and saw a big ass rat run right across the floor. Looked like he came right out of Ratatouille. Then the mother asked me if I wanted to take opioids, so I got the for the house and called CPS. 